Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Backpack Hero, the backpack management strategy game. It just got a new update today with a few new legendary items. So I'm looking forward to either getting the new legendary items or some legendary item that I have not gotten before and trying to build a build around it. Should be a lot of fun. Now, this update is considered to be what is the final web update, which just means for people playing for free, this is what the game is going to be locked in as in this version for them, at least until it comes out on Steam and they're willing to buy it. But if you donate to the Kickstarter, which is something I will be doing, you will continue to receive updates. Now, I am looking for rare and legendary stuff I haven't had before. I go club or dagger. I could just grab them both. They both fit. I definitely want a lucky ring, take coins, and this is all fine. Trying to find some new legendary stuff, build around it. I mean, there's a lot that I have not touched yet. Let's take a look. Shop up ahead. I should go dagger, club, and let the poison take out the bee. Get him. And got him. Very easily blocked, and just tear through this slowly. I imagine they're not long for this world. So I am excited to see what sort of updates come in the future. I've actually never donated to a Kickstarter before, so this will be a fun little experience. Here, an consumable gives me three max HP, great. When a weapon kills an enemy, add three haste to self. I believe that gives better block. Just the key, keys are good. You know, I guess I haven't really done a poison build. What if I do a double dagger play? I'm gonna take some more fights, farm some more coins for the shop. Yeah, a poison build could actually be kind of fun, because here, I've got four poison. That's not too bad. Well, way to calculate that here. Give me three max HP real quick. You know what? Fine. I'll wipe you out, and then I'll get you next turn. Way to calculate those numbers correctly, just so I got the right amount of damage dealt. Gosh. So, two weak means you attack for seven, which means I can block you. And then I'll get you next turn. Yeah, now we start going in and I'll, okay, I'll actually get him next turn, but that was the setup, now it comes the payoff. So bam, 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 and poison gets him. Yeah, poison bow could be fun. What do I get? Another key, a better shield, I should probably take that. Fits in, small key, this is a helmet. Adjacent clothings get block. That's about as good as this is gonna get. Let's use up one of my keys. See what's in the box. And then I could go to this shop, possibly. It's another letter. I'm kind of over the letter builds, but I'll take, you know, the shiv. I can still sell this at the shop. Now, how about I go to the shop just to see if I could land any poisons or new things to me? Well, weapons in this row get plus two damage. That's good. Oh, oh, this one's interesting. On use adds two block adjacent shields get used. This is something I kind of wanted to consider where you could just chain a ton of shields. I mean, how much can I get away with selling? I can sell this, sell that. You know what? Let's, new beginnings, just clear out my whole damn inventory just to get this one legendary thing that I'm not even really sure I'm gonna keep. So now I'll just wanna take every shield and then I could get obscene block. <laughs> Why the hell not? Uh, let's take on some fights. There'll be plenty to pick up, I'm sure. So. Hit you, hit you. And you know what? I'll actually take the honey curse. I'm sure I can get rid of it. So, nine block for one right now. Woohoo. Each turn adds two slow to self. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what slow does. Reduce two armor when blocking. Oh, that's kind of bad. Okay, I'll just get rid of this so it's destroyed. Kill off the bee. Block you. Bye. <laughs> the bee was only, the only thing keeping him in. Oh, I got a mini shield, nice. Six more block, take the coins. For each adjacent item destroyed, this item gets plus two block this combat. Interesting, so it works well, consumables. A golden whetstone is something I'd love to take. I mean, I would love a lot more of these as well. Okay, show me some more blockers. Oh, actually, I can hit you enough that my chest plate blocks it all. Damn, that's not what I was expecting to do. Well, I'll get you, and then block for a ton. That's nice. That's very nice. All right, so three weak. 
So now it goes down to two weak. I mean, that's just really cool. You can stack weak until they attack with basically nothing. Yeah, I haven't really done much of a weak build. I've only done strong ones. Blocks? Ooh, I got two more shields! <laughs> um, how do I do this now? Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I get some footwear as well. At least the shields buff the chainmail. And now I use four, five shields at the same time. Too bad I don't have enough money to get more max HP. But uh, this, this is worth it. This is what I wanted to build around. Now it's only adjacent shields. So next thing I do, gotta do is just swap up my shields for better shields. Let's not go to the shop yet. Of course, I don't even need shields because I just have so much armor. It's alright though, the armor is temporary. Eventually, I'll get stuff where I won't even need that armor. Oh, a key sword. This gets better with keys. Sure, I could unlock my true potential. And plus three max HP, and this gives more block. So I'll get rid of you, put you here. Now I just gotta hoard every key I find. And beat up a rabbit. 12 damage. Well, I block all of it already and give me some max HP. Who knows? Maybe you'll drop a key. No key. Uh, this got changed. The lightning. This item is now a projectile. I'm actually not sure how that practically changes, but cool. Good for you. Let's uh, do a little bit of money earning. These are really good leather boots. I mean, they added five block. But I'd rather just sell stuff at this shop and try to get something else. Like, if I could get another one of these, I realize that would be insane. But I didn't. Okay, so sell some of these off. How about the path to this shop down here? Okay, so the flea if only cowardly enemies remain. Alright, I'm getting hit for a lot. So let's block for 37 for one. Pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, if, if I could chain these, it would be game over for anyone trying to get me. Now, just the bad news is it takes forever to wipe this guy out. Uh, I did keep this because I wanted to drink it for the regen. So, I'll take the regen. Just heal six. It's more important than three coins to me. Okay, now I can just wipe you out. And you'll flee. Bye. What do I get? Nothing too good. I got coins. Let's take to the shop. Don't mind if I do. Buff the key sword. I'll definitely need the space and... I mean, I'm going to kill eventually. It's just going to take an embarrassingly long time. Got him. How would I take to the space by the key sword? What the? Slay the Spire. Defect? This item is conductive. Each turn deals one damage to all enemies for each... Connected mana stone, this item gets plus two damage. Well, <laughs> hello, robot toy. Okay, this is very strange. What's in the box? Must be one of the new things. I got another key, let's go. And it says for each connected mana stone. So I assume a two out of two mana stone does not buff this guy twice. It is just counting the number of mana stones. Yeah, one damage. Well, it's, it's gonna add up eventually, don't you worry. Can I three-shot him? Nope. Whatever, I'll block. I think I could try to make the key work. Yeah, sure, why not? It's equal part key build, equal part block heaven. And I, I think this could scale. Like, I've had so many runs where I've just kind of come across a ton of keys. It happens. And I'll get him next turn. Goodbye. That's all, carry on. First boss time. This boss is not even gonna scratch me. You know what I really can't wait for for this game? Um, ascensions, or like harder game modes. Oh, this is the chicken boss, so every time I hit him, he gains rage. But yeah, I, and rage gives him more attack, so I, I can't wait for that. Because I have been feeling very powerful by the time I reach the first boss. Okay, whatever, I'll take two damage. I could just regen it back. So now I can hit, hit. Hey, you want Just hit him again. I don't care. I regen most of it back. Nice. All weapons get this effect applied. On use, this item gets plus one damage this combat. I believe that's the best of the three. I also do see this large mana stone. So let me put you here. 
So you, now you will deal two damage. Oh no, it is three damage. Oh no, 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 it is plus two for each mana stone. Yes, 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 this makes sense. Well, so ideally I want something that attacks that uh, costs mana, but it just hasn't happened yet. Now I gotta be smart to not use my keys. Oh, this takes mana stone. On use creates ethereal energy in a space that's in this column. I would like to try this. Maybe just get rid of the roof and take this. I don't have enough energy to make it work, but maybe it could be good down the road. I am in need of a shop now. I think I'll even sell off the chainmail armor I have. No shop, that's not good. Well, then I need to level up. It's that simple. So, slow but surely I'll have to get him. I need a, an item that keeps my block in between turns. Well, I'll wipe you out, that's good enough. That would go a long way with all this excess block I have. All right, and I went on the spot. I guess I could have taken one less damage, but once you're a little powerful, you start getting lazy. I thought you are gonna take these three spots. I mean, a spot is a spot. So what I could do, I could start relocating you over here, have the mana stone. Now I have enough mana for Ethereal Wand. Valuables. What's good here? Sure, I could give myself regen. And uh, fight time. I imagine this should be easy. So what exactly is ethereal energy? Each turn adds one energy when combat ends, this item gets destroyed. Okay, so this just gives me one extra energy per turn. Nice, I love it. Let's wipe out this guy. Okay, I'm gonna hit you, do this, do water flask so I can block. Fun. And you're dead this turn. Next. This fight shouldn't be too bad. Give me more energy. But I get more energy next turn, not this turn. I'll block for a ton and start getting them. Actually, I should have done liquid armor because then I can hit you four times. Nope, shouldn't have done liquid armor. Well, I can still kill you. Liquid armor was not long for this world. If I want, and I do want, I could put this here. More energy for the ethereal wand could be good. I mean, I power that the hell up and I get a ton of energy in the long run. And take this for free damage. This, this looks like it has a lot of potential. Buy some food? No, thank you. I'm not hungry. Yeah, so there's like three things going on here. Key build, robot toy slash... Wand build and then crazy block build. There's actually a lot of things going on at once. I can get behind this. I would deal 10 to all. Create extra energy. I will block for a ton. And then start working this middle guy down to finish him off next turn. So, got him. I will still block. And whatever. Buff up. It's attack damage for next turn. How am I missing 2 HP? How the hell did this happen? Did I click on the wrong shield by accident? Maybe I did that. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> All right, GG. And fight. You should be pretty easy. He does spikes back. Well, good thing I have a ton of block. Yeah, I can handle those spikes any day. Guess who didn't conduct? Guess what doesn't matter? GG. More space. Let's do it over here. And what's this? Fear me, Brigand. Am I a friend or foe? Okay, let's see what the combat's like for this. All right, I'm a foe. 380? Oh, but only 25 attack damage. That's nothing. That's weak. <laughs> I can block through that. Floor five, fight against this guy. Oh God, I'm gonna get cursed. Okay, so he's not even attacking me straight up, so I'll just hit him four times. He will add one of four curses to my inventory. Actually, let me do something here. I'm gonna just eat food and then hit him four times. Maybe I'll just take the curse, depending on what he gives. This one adds one week to myself, but on use adds 10 regen to all enemies. Sure, I'll take it, whatever. Re will reduce one damage when attacking with a weapon? I don't think I care. One fewer is hardly anything. 
And then I'll use it next turn just to actually get it out of my inventory. So, enjoy your regen, because you're dead. So what do I get? Anything special? A Fox Rapier. Adjacent and diagonal shields get plus one block this combat. You know, I have uh, pretty good shields. How interesting. You know what? Let's do some tweaking here. Let's see how much of this I can squeeze in. Man, this thing doesn't even really help me. We all know it's worse than the key sword. Ah, but this does help out my block. So, there's three locked doors on this floor. Maybe it's time to pivot. I, yes, understand the key sword is way stronger uh, than the fox sword, but I don't think I care that much. I want to double down more on the shields. So this is how I've decided I'm going to play. I'm just going to become unbelievably tanky with this thing. It seems fun. It seems like a lot of fun. And let's start using up some keys, huh? <laughs> now that I don't have this sword anymore. I don't have a shop to sell things, so I was just willing to leave the sword behind. Oh, eight block is better than seven. Minor improvement. Now what I need is something that adds spikes to me. I need to become tanky with spikes. That would just be incredibly fun. So I believe I can wipe out this front guy and just take two curses. You know, I, I can start working on the slimes. Wipe you out. I don't think I can wipe you out. I do 17 and 18. That's not enough. This curse. Adjacent diagonal weapons get poisoned to self. Okay. Just keep it away from my weapons. Easy. I didn't even get to block. <laughs> this is a better shield. Improvement. Looks good to me. Fight time. So hit him with this. Hit him with that. Make some ethereal energy. Do it again. Next turn, I'll have a ton of energy. And how about I kill the dudes that would give me curses? So bam, bam. Let's go for ex Ugh, I clicked on this and it didn't click. You didn't click. I wasted one damage. That's what you guys sound like. Let's uh, take this poison or take seven damage. No. Each turn adds three poison to self. That's hardly anything. So, whatever. Bring on the poison. You're still dead. Thanks for playing. All right. Legendary. This item is conductive, removes five HP, adjacent curses get destroyed. Cool. What's in the box? I want in. Here. Fish. That's about it. How about this? So robot tra trade a rare item for a curse. Sorry, take a rare item for a curse. I don't. I do not have a curse. All right. This is like the only reason I kept this cleansing bomb for this poison or spikes dude. But I might not even face him, and it probably won't even matter because I've blocked. I didn't even face him. So let's just use these consumables. I no longer care about cleansing bomb. Do the wand. Do it again. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention with this update. Uh, one of the cool things they added was animation timers. Uh, there's like a slider for how fast the animation goes. So you get a ton of choices for how you want to go about it. I have it on maximum speed right now. And the items have felt more fluid. Something I've greatly appreciated. So you know, I could just hit you five times. And then block for how much? <laughs> a ton. Whoa, yeah, you're not getting through that. No way. I just keep attacking the big dude. Do I win right now? Is this cowardly? It is cowardly. I win. Hot damn. Bye. All right, leveling up. Let's uh, let's go to the right here. On use, this item gets anchored for two combats. All weapons get plus five damage. I'll take the tusk plus five damage. This isn't a build where I'm trying to remove spikes. I would rather have just let my block carry. It sounds more fun. Oh, you know, I probably should get rid of this little buckler. I've loved its compactness, but you know, I probably should plan to just block more. What's in the chest? Cause yeah, regular shield does block more than this. 
Um, but actually, there is a benefit of the little buckler, and that means the, the fox weapon can buff three shields at the same time. That is very important. That is very, very important. So, never mind. I like it how it is. Let's just take some random stuff. Yeah, and it's buffed for the rest of combat. So, I think this setup is ideal, unless if there's some even better shield that just gives more block that I haven't heard of. I mean, that'd be cool if there was. Now, burn, I don't think it's hit by block. Either way, let's get him. Bam. Bam. And I hit him three times. Unless I can wipe you out. I do not wipe you out, so I'll just block for a ton. 44. Yeah, so when does the burn go off? Okay, it goes off before the block goes away. That's very nice. Poison, though, does get screwed over by block or does screw over block snake has 85 hp so i can hit him actually if i hit this guy first i can wipe you out with four shots the math is just barely correct to the shop here you go you can have this and that and this gives plus four damage to a weapon as long as it's two spaces away it sounds good Sounds good in theory. In practice, where the hell am I putting it? I mean, if I change up this token of energy, I can get it to work. It might be possible, actually. Just have you be right here. And then, oh, I don't need this thing. Start moving a ton of this stuff around. Yeah. Yep, I still got five mana stones connected to the robot toy, as you can see by the dotted lines. Let's carry on. Open the door. Get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. What's in the chest? When a diagonal shield is used, add one block. Only diagonal, huh? So not adjacent. Man, that's not even that good then. Yeah, I'm not going for... I'm not trying to mess up my inventory just to get two block. Forge! Ooh. Oh, haste is a funny... Oh, shield. This is shield. I kind of want spike. Well, now I technically don't even need to attack to win. I can just have the enemies attack into me. Uh, that's not true. No, I still lose to poison. Oh, come on. Let me, let me have a little bit of fun here, though. I'll hit you a bit. Still wipe out the snake. Screw it. Use a water flask. Who cares? Actually, I should be using water flask because what I need to do is ethereal wand up some mana. I also want to wipe out the snake. No poison for you. Now you, normal enemy, you will die by attacking. You're, you're not breaking my wall. And now you're just going to lose the spike. So, yeah, that hurts. Well, if you think that hurts, what about this next shot? I'm a freaking wall. 264 block. I feel like this could be pretty scalable. Because my spikes don't go away either. I mean, they drop by one per turn. Eventually, I'm sure enemies will be strong enough to get through 264 block, but that's going to take a while. I also probably struggle against enemies that give curse, but whatever. And what's cool is that I can still scale my own block if I pressed on the sword. So what I would just need to do is get the minimum amount of block for a turn, everything else be the sword, and just scale like crazy. This could be a hell of a run. Dude, I need another one of these. That would be so nice. Floor 8 time. And another shop. I'm always excited when I see shops, even though they're not even that good. They haven't been that good for me, rather. So, yeah, curse enemies are pretty tough. Like the Gek. So I always want to target them if they're going to make curses. So one. I don't quite get to wipe you out. I come very close, though. I mean, maybe I could still take the curse, depending on what it is. What does this do? It adds weak and 10 regen? Sure, whatever. I'll miss out on one energy. Still got a lot of passive damage. Yeah, take your regen. See if I care. You're dead in no time. I'll leave that 5 HP one alive. Alright, give me your stupid curse. Okay. It's a curse I don't care about. Nice. And almost out of this. One more fight before the big bad boss. Die, please. Hit you and then block for 64. 
Very nice. And I've ramped this up well enough to do a killing blow. I'm excited for the final boss. Yeah, another lucky ring seems great. So is another large mana stone. Oh, does that mean I'd be able to create three energy? I think it does, actually. I think it's... Hmm, what do I say goodbye to? Oh, actually, I have a ton of mana. I mean, this robot toy hasn't really been that impactful. Yeah, I think it's time for defect... <laughs> defect... Defect buddy to go. I really appreciated him. I did, but I think I would rather have... This is 11 energy. Or 11 mana, which could make 3 energy for me. Actually, here's the plan. This 1-1 one, one mana stone doesn't change anything. It doesn't let me get more energy crystals, so why not just take the lucky ring? And the rest can sit out. Thank you for joining me on this journey, defucked buddy. I keep saying defucked. I'm trying not to. It's gonna be a good final boss battle, I'm sure. Let's see if I get the king. The king could put up a real, real fight. No, I got the Grand Master. You're no king, but you will do. Oh, way to connect the mana, dumbass. <laughs> it's okay, I needed the handicap. Oh, he just starts with a ton of block. Okay, well, I will also start with a ton of block. You think you're so cool with your fancy block. It's just gonna summon a dude. I can just attack him directly, though, because I block for so much. All right, endless mode is going to be baller. I, I, the main sh uh, run of this, for sure, will be endless mode. I'm excited to see how far out of control this can snowball. I don't want your curse. I guess I'm getting rid of you then, huh? I guess I'm not. Gross. Well, I'll set up to kill you, and then I'll just put up a ton of block. I can still take this, right? Yeah, I can still take it. 10 rage, whatever. What does this do? Slow. Makes me reduce armor when blocking. This guy's 31 HP. You know what? Take rage. See if I care. So 29, 30, 31. A little damage and then a ton of block. Nice. Very nice. Just keep getting them. It's gonna still take forever to kill, huh? Block. It's just the same turn again and again, but I become unbearably powerful. I think I outscale most enemies too, because the enemies have a lot of just natural scaling, but I scale faster. It's been a fun fight. I can kill you too. Thanks for playing. All right, that is the run. Endless mode, here I come. I'm excited to see how this pans out. How much block will I possibly get in a turn? How big of a juggernaut will I become? Let's fix this so I don't falter to the same mistake next time. And I will see you guys all in endless mode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and peace.